members I know now, Brother Tom Reynolds and Brother Thorpe, probably will be here for this Wednesday night and through the weekend. And I hope that church will turn out and just bless those brothers. Brother Thorpe really needs the uplifting of the Lord in his ministry. He said, Brother Marlowe, I need to come to Bradenton and get filled up again. Amen. I need something from the Lord. This pastor is coming, expecting to get help from God. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's just let the Lord help us, with us, and walk all the way with us. We have a great, big, wonderful God tonight. Don't be afraid with Him at your side. Amen. Amen. tonight knowing that He will take care of you. Praise the name of the Lord. So, uh, I also... Uh, the crowd is gone, but how many have not received an address book that has been printed by the church for your benefit recently? Uh, just recently. You got the new address. Who, who doesn't have the new address book? Uh, your name may not be in it if you're just arriving. Get some, Brother Les, would you? And we'll do this again Wednesday night. We know we did the best we could. Sister Carol Hargraves worked as hard as she could work. We know the address book is not complete, but it is an updating of the older one we had. We're going to be adding corrections add to it, uh, an addendum to it, and um, giving addresses that were not included. And then there's some wrong addresses in there, and uh, we're going to be <coughs> correcting those. And you'll see them when you get the addendum that will come out. Uh, that you can put in your address book. You'll see the corrections of the addresses that are not right. And then uh, some of the birthdays also. So we'll be adding corrections to all of that. And you bear with us because uh, sometimes you do the very best you can and it isn't what it needs to be. But by the grace of God, we'll get that address book for you right. How many don't have a copy of the present address book. Here's one, two, one, two, three, four, over here, five, uh, six, seven, eight, three, three. Further. Can you keep Father Dean and I in prayer? We have to go to Shan's You know, we're just right with you, Sherry and Dean. And when you go up to Shams Tuesday, our hearts are going with you. Our hearts are going with you. Dean, can I tell it and push prayer for it? Dean, uh, when you're diabetic, you don't realize pain. Uh, he developed a blister on his ankle, isn't it? The rubbing of the new shoe. And to a diabetic, a blister and a little sore is not a good thing, as you know. Could we all be in one mind and one accord and pray that that sore will be healed in the name of Jesus? Try on Dean's ankle. It's not good for a diabetic. And some of you know that. So we can pray and believe for Brother David. I love, I love all of God's people. I love Dean, Sherry, along of course, loving the rest of you. I know they fighting, fighting this battle with his health. But he's fought it bravely. And he's fought it from the depth of his heart. And Sherry has stood right by his side all the way. And we're thankful, thankful for their faith. So let's pray for them as they go to Shands Hospital Tuesday in Gainesville. And uh, that God will go with them, help them in this. Then there's many requests that were made for prayer through the week. And um, in the morning, we have Harry Bass, Penny Marino, that is uh, facing uh, surgery. And then 
Next week on the 13th, Sister Mary Gay, Tampa General, is going up. So we have some people among us that keep calling on him. Only part of the church here, but we'll call the name again Wednesday night. We'll keep the, this rehearsed before the family of God because we need to pray much for one another. Prayer is conversation between you and God. Praise the Lord for the great weekend. Praise the Lord for the great weekend. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Eddie Friday night. Eddie Friday night, I'm joining Sister Teresa uh, and the group that will be there. It's going to be great fellowship. Uh, probably there will be Christian entertainment and uh, there will be good food. How much of it? And it's for the benefit of our church family school. Yes. And God will bless us together. We we'll just have a great time. What time again? 5 30 to 8. 5.30 to 8. 5.30 to 8 o'clock. 5.30 to 8 o'clock. Spaghetti dinner. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Paul. Praise God. Uh, I heard that call. All right. May the Lord bless you. And there's a baby shower on Saturday. Baby shower on Saturday for Sister Diana Roller. Now, I won't be at that one. <laughs> but there we can make it. <laughs> but there will be a baby shot for Sister Diane Lower in the dining room. You see it on the screen. All right. I will study tomorrow night at six o'clock. I don't have anything else. Oh, keep Howard and Jill in prayer. She's doing five days. Jill, Howard. All right, Bye Brother days. Howard out in Amarillo and Sister Jill, that their first baby is going to be here in about five days. <laughs> going to be celebrating first baby. Brother Tim. So, Paula, I'm going to give a little plea here for a second. Tomorrow night is band practice. As you can tell, we've, we've been improving day by day, step by step. We have about 14 to 16 band practices left before our convention. And yes, I'm already looking into March. That's, that's where I'm looking, into March. We've got family coming in March. And the one thing that, that we do around here is we try to prepare. And I remember years ago, me and Sister Marlo have been speaking, and my mom, people used to want to come to Bradenton to listen to the band play. They did. Just like they would go to Oklahoma City and a few other places. We're going to bring that back. Yeah. Amen. We're working on it. First of all, we ask you for your prayer. But number one, if you play an instrument, right? if you've ever played an instrument, if you have any desire to play an instrument, if you've thought about it, we can get you ready before March. We need you up here. We, we want you here. We that I'm telling you right now, until you come to a band practice and feel the difference yes, in the true. spirit and the atmosphere, yes. it's so calm and peaceful here on Monday nights. We really enjoy it being together. And I want to tell you one thing. We're taking steps forward to being the greatest band That's in the right. body of Christ. Yeah. 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 I appreciate it. You continue to pray for us in band practice tomorrow night. If you want to come, join us. You heard the invitation. Ever play, desire to play, you want to play, but they'll get you ready for the convention in March. And I uh, appreciate the band, all of you, and I look forward to hearing you tomorrow night, and God will give you strength. Amen, amen. So, with that said and done, we're going to go home, and they're playing something. Praise God. Amen.
everybody turned to each other and said, God bless you.